Hey superstars, it's your girl Malika, aka Miss Magic, back with another video. Today we are making delicious crock pot black eyed peas. This dish is so easy and simple, but the flavors are going to amaze you. But first, if you are new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you for coming. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button for me. Give me a big thumbs up and hit that notification bell so you can be alerted when I do post another video. All right, guys, let's get straight into this recipe. All right, guys, all you're going to need for this dish is we got our black eyed peas that have been soaking overnight. You can also do a quick soak if you don't have time. Smoke meat of your choice. I'm using smoked neck bones. I have half of an onion and a half of a green pepper chopped. I have slap your mama seasoning, magic seasoning, body of complete seasoning. I have minced garlic, garlic paste, and my adobo seasoning salt. And of course, the uh, star of the show, our crock pot. All right, we're going to go straight into uh, sauteing our vegetables. We're going to go ahead and take a half a tablespoon, no, a tablespoon of butter, I'm sorry. And we'll melt that completely in the pot. Now we'll add our onions and then we'll go ahead and add our green peppers. And we're going to saute these vegetables for about five to ten minutes. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our washed smoked neck bones and we're going to layer them on the bottom of the crock pot. That's important to put your meat first. Now you're going to go ahead and take your rinsed black eyed peas and we're going to go ahead and layer them on top of our neck bones. This is, I want to say, a 16 ounce bag of neck bone, of black eyed peas. Go ahead and do that. Next, we're gonna take our sauteed vegetables and we're gonna go ahead and layer them on top of our black eyed peas. Next, we'll start with our seasoning. So I'm gonna take some of the Magic Salt-Free Seasoning, go ahead and layer that on top. I'm using about, uh, I wanna say a tablespoon or an, a tablespoon and a half. I don't measure, guys, so. Next, we'll take our reduced sodium slap your mama and liberally season that. Once again, tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. And then I'm going to put maybe a teaspoon of the body, a teaspoon to a tablespoon. Once again, I do not measure. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put some garlic paste in it. If you want to use just minced garlic or just garlic paste, it's up to you. But I did put a little bit of my uh, garlic uh, in there. My minced garlic that's already in olive oil. Maybe about, yeah, I think that's a tablespoon. And now I'm going to use some Goya seasoning salt. And I think I use about a tablespoon, a tablespoon and a, half, and a half of that. Now we're going to take four cups of water. We are not using four cups of water. What we're doing is we're going to pour it to the side. And you want to fill it up, not completely covering the beans but just so you can see the water come up you see right there but don't cover it completely that is enough water that's all you're going to need for your whole black eyed peas experience now i'm going to just go ahead and stir it around a little bit just to mix it up i'm not going all the way down to the meat as you see i'm just going where the beans are when i'm stirring and just to mix it up just a little bit but the crock pot, basically, guys, is going to do all of your work for you, so don't even worry about it. After that, you're basically done. You're going to put your crock pot on low. You're going to put your top on, on your uh, crock pot, and you're going to let this go. You're going to let this go for six to eight hours. All right, and then after your six to eight hours, your black eyed peas are done. Now we're just going to go ahead and stir it all up. We're going to take our bones out if you're using smoked meat that had bones. And then you're going to place your crock pot on warm and let that go. And once you put your crock pot on warm, it is going to make its own gravy. There's no need to smash up any beans or any of that. It's going to make your own gravy. And that is it. All right, guys, you have your delicious crock pot black eyed peas we're gonna go ahead and plate this up you're gonna go ahead and spoon this over a plate of cooked rice I've added some chopped green onions for extra flavor 
And basically, guys, we are done. This is delicious. I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit your subscribe button for me. Give me a big thumbs up and hit that notification bell so you can be alerted when I do post another video. All right, guys, enjoy. Hope to see you guys soon. Love you. Bye.